All right. Everyone settle down. The Bible Bowl is beginning. All right. Here's the way it's going to go, guys. These five girls over here, they're our representatives for lads to leaders for our Bible Bowl team. And uh, they've been studying First and Second Corinthians. Uh, and then they're going to be going against this group over here. The, all the adults, the question, I will read the question out loud twice. I'm not going to read the answers. So, you know, it's the choices, A, B, C, D. But you're going to give out or throw out what the answer is. And Sam is going to be your spokesperson for the adults. We only take the answer that Sam gives. So there might be somebody that says A, somebody that says B, somebody that says C, somebody that says D. But the only one that counts is what Sam says. Okay? He can listen to what you say. Or he can override you with his own choice. <clears throat> All right? Everybody understand that? Yeah, you can't open your Bibles. No cheating. No opening up your Bibles. Over here on this team, we have our Bible Bowl team is going to be Avery, Addison, Jaden, Taylor, and Aniston. Avery is their spokesperson. And when Avery gives an answer, she's going to tell the answer to Ed. Ed will say that out loud over the microphone so that everybody gets to hear. And then I will pop up what the real answer is. And we'll keep track of who gets the most answers correct. So let's give it a dry run. It will go like this. And we're going to do the adults. This one does not count. It's too easy. <laughs> Who is the author of 1 Corinthians? Who is the author of 1 Corinthians? Answer. Shout it out. D. D is the answer, okay? It's their turn. So don't necessarily do numbers because that doesn't, I mean, then he's got to think, okay, is 4, is that C? Or... <laughs> Yeah. Oh, we can't hear? Y'all want a different spokesperson? No. Sam. Sam's the spokesperson. All right. All right, we're going to start with the, the kids first. So that's what it looks like when I pop the answer up. See how D is bold? Paul. So Paul is the author of 1 Corinthians. All right. Lads to leaders team. Okay. Here we go. Again. And nobody else, please do not yell out answers. Only the ones, only the lads to leaders team that are participating. According to 1 Corinthians chapter 1 verse 2, the church of God at Corinth was blank. According to 1 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 2, the church of God at Corinth was blank. Answer. They say A, sanctified, a, in, Christ sanctified Christ. in Christ. Correct. They got a point. Good job. Adults. According to 1 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 2, those who were sanctified in Christ Jesus were called to be blank. According to 1 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 2, those who were sanctified in Christ Jesus were called to be blank. Answer. C. Saints. Correct. Lads to leaders. According to 1 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 4, what did Paul thank God for concerning the Corinthians? According to 1 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 4, what did Paul thank God for concerning the Corinthians? Answer. Answer. 
A, the grace of God. A, the grace of God. Good job. Adults, in 1 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 10, Paul pleaded with the Corinthians to blank. Adults, in 1 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 10, Paul pleaded with the Corinthians to A. A, speak the same thing, correct. Nice. Next question for lads to leaders. The first half of 1 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 19 reads, For it is written, I will blank the wisdom of the wise. The first half of 1 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 19 reads, For it is written, I will blank the wisdom of the wise. C, destroy. C, destroy. Good job. Remember, adults, no, no using your Bibles. Adults, according to 1 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 30, what did Christ become for us? According to 1 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 30, what did Christ become for us? Answer. Nope. Oh, wow. it. All the above. All the above, Tur correct. Give them the answer. <laughs> they got it right. Lads to leaders, according to 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 1, Paul did not go to the church at Corinth with excellence of blank or of blank. According to 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 1, Paul did not go to the church at Corinth with excellence of blank or of blank. Answer. A, speech and wisdom. A, speech and wisdom. Good job. Adults, 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 5 says, So that your faith should not be in the blank of men. 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 5 says, So that your faith should not be in the blank of men. Answer. Let's hear it. You're supposed to shout it. You're supposed to shout it out. And B. B, wisdom. Adults, I don't hear you very well. <laughs> and I'm deaf, so you all have to speak up. <laughs> all right, lads to leaders, according to 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 12, we have received the Spirit who is from God so that we may know the things blank given to us by God. According to 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 12, we have received the Spirit who is from God so that we may know the things blank given to us by God. Answer. B, freely. B, freely, correct. All right, no one's missed any yet. Good job. Adults, in 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 1, Paul told the Corinthians that he could not speak to them as what? In 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 1, Paul told the Corinthians that he could not speak to them as what? Answer. C. C, spiritual people, correct. Lads to leaders, 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 6 states, blank planted, blank watered, but blank gave the increase. 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 6 states, blank planted, Blank watered, but blank gave the increase. Answer. A. I, A. Apollos, God. I, Apollos, and God. Correct. Good job. Adults, according to 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 10, what was given to Paul? According to 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 10, what was given to Paul? Answer. Majority says C. Majority does not rule. Answer is A. <clears throat> All right. Lads to leaders, take the lead. Lads to leaders, 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 15 states, If anyone's work is blank, 
he will blank. 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 15 states, if anyone's work is blank, he will blank. Yeah. D, Answer. D, burned, suffered loss. Correct. D, burned and suffered loss. Adults. First, in 1 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 1, Paul wrote, let a man so consider us as blank of Christ. In 1 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 1, Paul wrote, Let a man so consider us as blank of Christ. Answer. Answer. D. D, servants, correct. Lads to leaders. According to 1 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 5, what things will the Lord bring to light when he comes? According to 1 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 5, what things will the Lord bring to light when he comes? Answer. C, things hidden in darkness. Correct. C, things hidden in darkness. Adults. The first half of 1 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 10 reads, We are blank for Christ's sake, but you are blank in Christ. The first half of 1 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 10 reads, We are blank for Christ's sake, but you are blank in Christ. Answer. D. D, correct. Fools and wise. Lads to leaders. According to 1 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 8, we are not to keep the feast with the leaven of blank and blank. According to 1 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 8, we are not to keep the feast with the leaven of blank and blank. Answer. C, malice and wickedness. Correct. C, malice and wickedness. I love how the lads to leaders, their answers are right there. Adults. <laughs> According to 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 6, brothers went to blank against brothers before unbelievers. According to 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 6, brothers went to blank against brothers before unbelievers. Answer. 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 B. B, law. All right. Last to leaders. According to 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 9, who will not inherit the kingdom of God? According to 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 9, who will not inherit the kingdom of God? Answer. No one heard you. Do you have an answer? Answer. D, the unrighteous. Correct. D, the unrighteous. According to 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 15, our bodies are members of blank. According to 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 15, our bodies are members of blank. Answer. A. A, correct. Lads to leaders, in 1 Corinthians chapter 7, verse 4, it is stated, The wife does not have blank over her own body, but the husband does. And likewise, the husband does not have blank over his own body, but the wife does. Answer. Did I read that twice? No. Okay. First, in 1 Corinthians Chapter 7, verse 4, it is stated, The wife does not have blank over her own body, but the husband does. And likewise, the husband does not have blank over his own body, but the wife does. Answer. B, authority. B, authority, correct. 
adults, according to 1 Corinthians chapter 7, verse 19, circumcision is nothing and uncircumcision is nothing, but keeping the blank of God is what matters. According to 1 Corinthians chapter 7, verse 19, circumcision is nothing and uncircumcision is nothing, but keeping the blank of God is what matters. Answer. C. C. Commandments. Last to leaders, according to 1 Corinthians chapter 8, verse 1, knowledge puffs up, but love blank. According to 1 Corinthians chapter 8, verse 1, knowledge puffs up, but love blank. D. Edifies. D. Edifies. Correct. Adults, according to 1 Corinthians chapter 8, verse 9, we are to beware that we do not become a stumbling block to those who are blank. According to 1 Corinthians chapter 8, verse 9, we are to beware that we do not become a stumbling block to those who are blank. Answer. D. D. Weak. All right, that's the end of the first one. Got now we're going to round two. Twelve. So the lads to leaders have 12 correct, and the adults have 11 correct. Good job. Sure. <laughs> All right, no, 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 go sit back down. We're not done. Oh, I'm sorry, I thought we had a break. <laughs> yeah. And we're back to the last leaders, correct? In 1 Corinthians chapter 9, verse 1, several questions are stated. Yes. They read, am I not an blank? Am I not free? Have I not seen Jesus Christ our Lord? Are you not my work in the Lord? In 1 Corinthians chapter 9, verse 1, several questions are stated. They read, Am I not and blank? Am I not free? Have I not seen Jesus Christ our Lord? Are you not my work in the Lord? Answer. A, apostle. Correct. A, apostle. Adults, in 1 Corinthians chapter 9, verse 7, ask the question, Who plants a vineyard and does not blank of its fruit? In 1 Corinthians chapter 9, verse 7, ask the question, Who plants a vineyard and does not blank of its fruit? Answer. A. A. Eat. Correct. Last to leaders. According to 1 Corinthians chapter 9, verse 12, we are to blank all things so that we don't hinder the gospel of Christ. According to 1 Corinthians chapter 9, verse 12, we are to blank all things so that we don't hinder the gospel of Christ. Answer. B, endure. Correct. B, endure. Adults. In 1 Corinthians chapter 9, verse 19, Paul states that even though he is a free man, he has made himself a blank to all that he might win more. In 1 Corinthians chapter 9, verse 19, Paul states that even though he is a free man, he has made himself a blank to all that he might win more. Answer. B. B, servant, correct. Lads to leaders, according to 1 Corinthians chapter 9, verse 24, in which way are we to run? According to 1 Corinthians chapter 9, verse 24, in which way are we to run? Answer. A, in such a way that we obtain the prize. Correct, in such a way that we may obtain the prize. Adults, according to 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 4, they all drank of that spiritual rock, and that rock was blank. 
according to 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 4. They all drank of that spiritual rock, and that rock was blank. Answer. B. B, Christ, correct. Lads to leaders. According to 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 11, all these things happen to them for our blank. According to 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 11, all these things happen to them for our blank. Answer. It's up to you. Is that it? Final answer? A, example. Correct. A, example. No, I just, <coughs> You guys were saying different things. Adults. According to 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 24, we are not to seek our own good, but the well-being of whom? According to 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 24, we are not to seek our own good, but the well-being of whom? Answer. You guys are doing great. B. Correct. Others. Lads to leaders. In 1 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 1, Paul told the Corinthians to blank. In 1 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 1, Paul told the Corinthians to blank. Answer. D, imitate him. Correct. D, imitate him. Yeah, we can do that. Adults, in 1 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 18, Paul said that when they came together as a church, there were what among them? In 1 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 18, Paul said that when they came together as a church, there were what among them? Answer. C. Correct. C, divisions. Lads to leaders. 1 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 4 states that there are diversities of gifts, but the same blank. In 1 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 4, states that there are diversities of gifts, but the same blank. Answer. B, Lord. Wrong. A, Spirit. Okay. They went a long time without missing one. Good job, lads, leaders. All right, adults, here's your chance to catch up. According to 1 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 13, by one spirit we were all blank into one body. According to 1 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 13, by one spirit we were all blank into one body. Answer. C. C, correct. Baptized. <laughs> Lads to leaders. In 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verse 1, Paul says that if we do not speak with blank, we become sounding brass or a clanging cymbal. In 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verse 1, Paul says that if we do not speak with blank, we become sounding brass or a clanging cymbal. Answer. C, love. C, love. Correct. Adults, according to 1 Corinthians chapter 14, verse 6, what does speaking in tongues blank unless spoken by revelation, knowledge, prophesying, or teaching? According to 1 Corinthians chapter 14, verse 6, what does speaking in tongues blank unless spoken by revelation, knowledge, prophesying, or teaching? Answer. D, D prophet. Correct. Last to leaders, according to Paul in 1 Corinthians chapter 14, verse 19, 
He would rather speak blank words with understanding than 10,000 words in a tongue. According to Paul in 1 Corinthians chapter 14, verse 19, he would rather speak blank words with understanding than 10,000 words in a tongue. Answer. D5. Correct. D5. Adults, in 1 Corinthians chapter 14, verse 26, Paul says to let all things be done for blank. In 1 Corinthians chapter 14, verse 26, Paul says to let all things be done for blank. Answer. B. B, edification, correct. Lads to leaders. In 1 Corinthians chapter 14, verse 33, Paul states that God is not the author of blank, but of peace. In 1 Corinthians chapter 14, verse 33, Paul states that God is not the author of blank, but of peace. Answer. C, confusion. Correct. C, confusion. Adults, in 1 Corinthians chapter 14, verse 40, Paul says that all things should be done blank and in order. In 1 Corinthians chapter 14, and verse 40, Paul says that all things should be done blank and in order. Answer. D. Correct. Decently and in order. Last to leaders, in 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 3, Paul says that he delivered blank what he also received, that Christ died for our sins according to the scriptures. In 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 3, Paul says that he delivered blank what he also received, that Christ died for our sins according to the scriptures. Answer. C, some. Wrong. D, first. <clears throat> All right. Adults have taken the lead. Paul said in 1 Corinthians chapter 15, <laughs> verse 9, that he was the blank of the apostles and not worthy to be called an apostle because he persecuted the church of God. Paul said in 1 Corinthians 15, verse 9, that he was the blank of the apostles and not worthy to be called an apostle because he persecuted the church of God. Answer. A. A, least. Correct. Last to leaders. In 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 14, if Christ is not risen, then our preaching is blank and your faith is also blank. In 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 14, if Christ is not risen, then our preaching is blank and your faith is also blank. Answer. D, empty, empty. Correct. Empty and empty. Adults, 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verses 16 through 18 states that if Christ has not risen, then those who have fallen asleep in Christ have blank. In 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verses 16 through 18, states that if Christ is, has not risen, then those who have fallen asleep in Christ have blank. D. Hence, D, perished. Good job. Lads to leaders. In 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 33, tells us to not be deceived because evil com evil company corrupts good blank. In 1 Corinthians chapter 15 verse 33 tells us to not be deceived because evil company corrupts good blank. D. Habits. D. Habits. Correct. Adults. 1 Corinthians chapter 15 verse 58 
tells us to be steadfast, immovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord, knowing that our blank is not in vain in the Lord. Answer. A. A. Labor. Good job. <laughs> Lads to leaders. According to 1 Corinthians chapter 16, verse 5, where would Paul pass through on his way to Corinth? According to 1 Corinthians chapter 16, verse 5, where would Paul pass through on his way to Corinth? Answer. B, Macedonia. B, Macedonia. Correct. Good job. And that's the end of round two. We'll take a five-minute break, and then we'll start off with 2 Corinthians. <laughs> Quick, y'all study, okay? <laughs> All right, we got one minute. One minute. By the way, these scriptures are taken from the New King James Version. This is New King James Version. <laughs> they're, they're the same. All right, everybody ready? Last the leaders teams, please be seated. Right now we have a tie score as far as the number correct but the last to leaders have had one more question than the adults so we this round we start with the adults and then it'll be evened up as far as questions for each side are y'all ready and first I'm sorry in 2nd Corinthians chapter 1 verses 3 through 4 tells us that God comforts us in all our blank so that we may be able to comfort others. 2 Corinthians chapter 1 verses 3 through 4 tells us that God comforts us in all our blank so that we may be able to comfort others. Answer. C. C. Tribulation. Good job. Now the adults are in the lead. Lads to leaders. According to 2 Corinthians chapter 1 verse 16 Paul wanted the Corinthians to help him on his way from Macedonia to where? According to 2 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 16, Paul wanted the Corinthians to help him on his way from Macedonia to where? Answer. A, Judea. A, Judea, correct. Adults, in 2 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 3, Paul said that he had blank in them all, that his joy was the joy of them all. In 2 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 3, Paul said that he had blank in them all, that his joy was the joy of them all. Answer. A. A, confidence. Last to leaders. 
According to 2 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 11, Satan should not be able to take advantage of us because we are not blank of his devices. According to 2 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 11, Satan should not be able to take advantage of us because we are not blank of his devices. Answer. C, ignorant. C, ignorant, correct. Adults, according to 2 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 4, we have such blank through Christ toward God. According to 2 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 4, we have such blank through Christ toward God. Answer. Answer. <laughs> Last the leaders, be respectful. A. A, trust. I heard a whole lot of wrong answers, though, too. <laughs> Last the leaders, according to 2 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 13, Moses put a blank over his face so that the children of Israel could not look steadily at the end of what was passing away. According to 2 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 13, Moses put a blank over his face so that the children of Israel could not look steadily at the end of what was passing away. Answer. B, veil. B, veil, correct. Adults. 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 5 states that we are that we do not preach ourselves but Christ Jesus the Lord and ourselves your blank for Jesus' sake. 2 Corinthians chapter 4 verse 5 states that we do not preach ourselves but Christ Jesus the Lord and ourselves your blank for Jesus' sake. Answer. B. B. Bond servants. Correct. Last the leaders. According to 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 8, we are hard-pressed on every side, but not crushed. We are blank, but not in despair. According to 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 8, and according to a memory verse that we had at camp, we are hard-pressed on every side, but not crushed. We are blank, but not in despair. C, perplexed. C, perplexed. Good job. Adults, according to 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 11, we who live are always delivered to blank for Jesus' sake, that the life of Jesus also may be manifested in our mortal flesh. According to 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 11, we who live are always delivered to blank for Jesus' sake, that the life of Jesus also may be manifested in our mortal flesh. Answer. D. Was that a B or a D? D is in David. Okay. D is correct. Death. Last to leaders. In 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 16, Paul says that since we do not lose heart, our outward man is perishing, yet the inward man is being blank day by day. In 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 16, Paul says that since we do not lose heart, our outward man is perishing, yet the inward man is being blank day by day. Answer. D, D renewed. Correct. D, renewed. Next question. Adults. 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 18 tells us that the things which are seen are blank, but the things which are not seen are eternal. 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 18, tells us that the things which are seen are blank, but the things which are not seen are eternal. Answer. A. A, temporary. And we're going to stop there because we're out of time. All right.
So the adults answered one more than the last leaders. Good job, guys. They outnumber you 20 to 1. First of all, I want to say congratulations to the uh, elderly <laughs> and congratulations to the young people. I thought I was proud of uh, all of us tonight. But I do want to talk about Corinthians tonight. This, I want to call this the message and not the messenger. One of the main problems facing the first century Christian church was division. When Paul wrote to Corinthians, to Corinth, the church there was divided into at least four factions. Each of them aligned with one of the four prominent Christian leaders. One group identified itself with the apostle Paul. The members of this faction may have been attracted by Paul's emphasis on his ministry to the Gentiles. A second group identified itself with Apollos, one of Paul's fellow missionaries. They may have been attracted a following because his eloquent speaking abilities. A third group identified itself with Cephas, another name for the apostle Peter. This group may have been mostly of Jewish background, and a fourth group identified itself specifically with Christ. While on the surface it may seem that this group was godly, contingent of the Christian church, this may not be, have been the case because Paul does not commend any of the groups not even the I am of Christ faction, suggesting that they all of their professed allegiances were causing division and dissension in the church. Paul uses three rhetorical questions, each expecting a negative response to show the absurdity of the Corinth divisions. Question number one, is Christ divided? Question number two, was Paul crucified for you? Question number three, or were you baptized in the name of Paul? Paul pointed out that in the act of baptism, a person identifies himself or herself with Christ, period. Baptism does not align the believer with any human leader or with any faction of Christianity. But with the Lord himself, the Corinthians, who prided themselves on their wisdom and their understanding, had misconstrued this truth. They had begun to identify themselves with men who had performed the baptisms rather than Jesus himself. We might be tempted to write off this problem as it's not that big a deal. Or, silly, they were silly, they were immature. If it weren't for not that the fact that the tendency to exalt dynamic leaders is still prevalent today. Witty, engaging Christian speakers and vibrant charismatic spiritual leaders still have the power to mesmerize and to motivate believers today. And there is nothing inherently wrong with such power. The danger comes when the speaker or the leader, and not the message, becomes the focus of the attention. 
Christian speakers and leaders are merely vessels through whom God's word is communicated. Exalting them for the message they proclaim is a misunderstanding of their purpose. But simply, it's the message and not the messenger. When I was about 10 years old, Alan's here. I don't know if Glenn Duncan's here or not. Anyhow, there was a man at this congregation who could get up in that pulpit. He was not the regular minister. There was a man who was in the congregation, and whenever our regular preacher wasn't preaching, he would preach from the pulpit. And anyhow, I liked his lessons. I was only about 10 years old. But I liked his lessons as much or more than the regular minister, the regular preacher. And I thought to myself, man, that guy can preach. What a godly man. And then, this is a true story. Then, we had a guest speaker come in one time. And the guest speaker... He went over about 20 minutes past our regular time. There was a meeting of the men, and my dad was one of them, up in that room right there. And the man that I thought was such a good preacher and so concerned and so loving God, that door was cracked open about that much. I could see it. He was livid mad about how long that man preached I was I was like if you really love God so much and you want to preach yourself why in the world would you be upset about a man who just kept preaching for 20 more minutes that crushed me I'm sitting there thinking what a godly man that was, and he was so angry about how long that man preached. Boy, I learned a good lesson, though. I learned a good lesson. One that we all should learn, and that is, it is not the messenger. It's not the person delivering the message. It is the message, Jesus Christ. As believers today, we must guard ourselves against identifying too, cl too closely with human leaders or placing too much emphasis on them. Our loyalty and our identification belong only to Jesus Christ and his message. That message that Jesus Christ is God's son. He came to this earth. He died on the cross for our sins so that we have the hope of going to heaven when we die. If you have not confessed him and you need to come forward and confess him tonight, or if you have fallen away and you need the prayers of the church, whatever your need, if you'll come forward as we stand and sing. Jesus.